has looked more dangerous than ever in Ivan Vukomanovic's third season. Well, no Carlos Martinez as Manolo Marquez looks to play Victor Rodriguez and Noah Sadawi and those two, that combination and the solidity of Carl McHugh and automatic, efficient and beautiful. Ivan Vukomanovic's teams have had all three qualities this season. Well, Pritam Kotal back in the side. Probably a dash drops to the bench, and that's probably a sick... Turnovers and turmoil. He wants chaos and comebacks. And for a change, it might be Manolo Marquez who might have to play peacemaker tonight. But they have so much to learn from each other. And Goa and Kerala have so much to give as well to Indian football. Jai Gupta. Early ball in was looking for Noah. Picked up by... Boris, such to be careful, not only careful, he was also composed, still in a bit of trouble though, Danish lines one up, good work from Diamantakos, Vibin, straight to Arsh, immediate release for Kwame Pepra, speeds past Sandesh Jinder, he's left in behind, Kwame Pepra! Inches away. This Farouk plays a great ball forward. Pepra burst onto the scene. And it's a good recovery from the goalkeeper. Arshdeep Singh just made the angle very difficult, but the finish. Still has it, Noah. Victor, with time, headed away by Hormi Palm. Better of Milos Trinchic, who came flying in to try and tackle him and he got himself down the line and just picked out a pass he didn't run out of energy or that mental capacity to find that path but Hormi Palm sent back in and just tried to measure that Carl McHugh Victor Noah Sachin came out quickly great save from the youngster favourable for Noah Boris, Rowling, oh, was that a touch? Victor, Boris, Jay Gupta, past Tormi Palm, into the box, come back for Boris, they're asking for handball, Rainey has put it over. Sent him towards Rowling. Wonderfully guided into the back of the net. And the only time these two teams have gone in at nil all at half time was in 2014. That record is alive. Don Manolo's house celebrates. Well, he might have hurt himself here, Roland Borges, but he's got a crucial, crucial goal just before half time it's a well worked set piece routine Victor Rodriguez playing that ball across and watch Borges just make that run forward and just make contact with the ball Luna again Arshdeep with a punch Vibin blocked by Victor half time Victor's delivery means that Manolo Marquez one side and a done to the other with pace. And for the care of the blast have to be smart here, not to try and chase this game immediately. They're going to be put under pressure like that because they're very quick over five meters, Boris and Adante. Gathering pace, Diamantakos on his left side. Ode made it difficult for him. They're very deep looking for that ball, but it actually allows Diamantakos to gather pace. And once he gets in this mood on that left foot of his, the angle was tight but it's an opportunity the Blasters can possibly exploit, waiting for that mistake, and they need to get Iman into a shooting range, Iman and Arshdeep. In the end, it was comfortable and covered. Decent effort from the youngster. That was travelling. And that's Luna with a floater. Petra's last touch went up, rose highest. Squeezes it through for Udanta. No other attempt into the back of Drinchic. When you come into a game, just get one out the way. But it was easy pickings for Sachin Suresh. Gathered well. Ah, 
stuff on the table in terms of their projects they have at the moment. Noah's clear, but Sachin comes Again, out. Showing his credentials this year as being a great number one for the Kerala Blast as a superb timing to come out and get that one correct. I think a lot of the goalkeepers in the league is Rahul. Rahul keeps going into a crowd and Sandesh have to make the block. Would have put this game into a different spin. Udanta taken out by Pibin, who will go into the book for that challenge. He had no other option because Udanta would scamper away. Who else in that back line? FC Goa to the top of the table. Led by Sandej Jingan at the back and Rowland's goal and the remarkable management of Manolo Marquez.